morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone, wherever you are. I'm really excited to uh, host this workshop with Manasvi, my co-host. So I would like to just introduce our um, project a little bit first. Uh, so we are called Five Grad Students Walk Into a Bar. Uh, this idea came about uh, from uh, our different individual experiences uh, of uh, being in grad school and um, being frustrated about a lot of different things because grad school, as it turns out, is not easy. <laughs> Even though everybody enters grad school with lots of dreams and aspirations, uh, the experience of grad school is kind of uh, can get very challenging. So, um, so we decided to talk about the things that bothered us during grad school and in grad school, after grad school, and uh, make this into sort of a community uh, conversation. And that's the that's the basic idea. We want this to be a community to help each other uh, because uh, there are lots of problems. Some of them are systemic. Some of them are uh, uh, can be uh, individual to specific situations. So we will cover. We are trying to cover different topics uh, at different times. We're making this into a podcast eventually. Uh, so we have sessions where we invite five graduate students in every session from different backgrounds. And um, there's a theme to every episode and we talk about that theme uh, in that one episode. That's the basic idea. Uh, I am Charu Mehta. I'm a postdoc researcher now at Fred Hutch Cancer Research Center in Seattle. And my co-host will introduce herself. Uh, hello everyone. Uh, hi, I'm Marcy. I'm also uh, a part of the five grad students of our uh, podcast. And like Charu said, the entire idea of the podcast is to bring it together, the grad student community. And we are a very underrepresented, underappreciated, but we are everywhere. But nobody really talks about the effort we have put in for a lot of work. So we wanted to unite the international community and everybody. When we say grad students, uh, we also mean uh, psychology, sociology, anthropology students. We're not only saying science because all of these fields also are science, but often isolated. Uh, so we want to be inclusive in both the terms of fields we accommodate, the communities that we approach, and also uh, the kind of people we have podcast. Uh, yeah, so I'm Ayasi. I'm currently. Uh, that student, I'm doing my master's in plant systematics and my MSc thesis in ethnobotany, which is on a tribe called Yanadi in India. Um, yeah, and uh, before we begin, we would really love if you could uh, switch on your cameras and uh, unmute yourself if possible. Uh, if you're not comfortable with that, that's absolutely understandable. But we would love for you to be as interactive as you can either through the chat box or with your mic. But we would also like to see you. So if that's possible, yeah. <laughs> we would like yes, to see that. We have yeah. had the most fun when, when we can see each other. <laughs> Thank you, Nicole. Hey, Kim. Hey, Kim. Daniel, yeah. <laughs> Uh, oh, that's totally fine. Hi, Anthony. I did. I'm so sorry for pronouncing anybody's name wrong. I'm terrible at pronouncing uh, names. So, yeah, thank you, uh, whoever uh, switched on there. Think so, the whole point of this session is to get to know uh, each other and also talk about um, our experiences of being grad students because they're often not talking. Uh, so to start with, we want to do a small game, which we always do before we start our podcast. It's a good way to uh, get to know people, to uh, break the ice. So it's something called science stick up lines. Uh, so <laughs> uh, I am a big fan of science, but also uh, stick up lines. And uh, so we would like for you, we'll give you a time limit to come up with, maybe if somebody has given you a science pickup line, it's personally never happened to me. I've never got pickup lines in my life, actually. <laughs> but <laughs> enough of my, about my love life. But yeah, <laughs> uh, science pickup lines, like one which I personally love is, um, uh, hey, do you like water? The other person says yes. And then you go, well, you like me. 70% water. 
so <laughs> it's pretty cliche it's pretty bad but i think it's very cheesy and it is a great activity to break ice uh so <laughs> you want to give you like uh five minutes start with kind of five since it's only 37 right now uh sure let's do five yeah so we'll give you five minutes uh and you can either come up with pickup lines or google it and you'll be surprised the amount of uh, science pickup lines that are <laughs> ubiquitous in the internet uh so <laughs> we'll give you five minutes we would love everybody to yeah um come up with or find science pickup lines if preferably from your field but i have a thing for physics boy so i will find more physics sharing <laughs> i'll start with the one i found on internet it says um, hey are you made of fluorine iodine and neon because i think you're fine <laughs> <laughs> i really liked it <laughs> so how about we go around and you can share your favorite pickup line and also introduce yourself say your name and uh, where you're from and what you're doing uh, please unmute yourself um, and go ahead. Otherwise, we'll have to call <laughs> names. I can share a pickle club I like. Uh, it's a physics one. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, let's convert this potential energy into kinetic energy. I really like that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we can come back to Imran when he's um, he or she is available. Um, so, looking around. For... One sec. I thought Heather's thing about how she needed a graduate to get to success. No, not success, but to go a certain uh, higher is very interesting. I know someone who is personally going through that and she's a uh, um, a faculty member in a, a college in uh, Tamil Nadu, India, and even though she's incredibly smart, she won't be made like the HOD or um, you know head of the department, and she has to do a PhD. And she's like, just got married, and you know she's not got kids, so it's a big taboo in India. Like if you don't get kids, it's always like the first thing. No, oh, you're married. Why don't you have kids yet? So she's going through all of that and she's doing a PhD only because she wants to climb the ladder and because she thinks she deserves it. And she feels bad that the PhD is the only way she can prove her uh, worth or intelligence, which is very interesting to think about. Even though grad graduate experience can be very wonderful, but they also can be sort of push down our throats and I think this is something we talk about I think on Twitter also how it's just like you ask any science student what do you want to do and they're like ah oh, bachelor's master's PhD postdoc you know they have the whole <laughs> career planned out and it does talk about it says a lot about I think science and how structured it is and we don't accept people from different backgrounds even though they may have you know, if they have uh, qualifications, also if you don't have networking skills, you're not getting anywhere. But if you do, if you are very good at something and you don't have a deep or a thing, uh, there's no where you can go. Yeah, if anybody has any thoughts on this, we can. Yeah, <laughs> we're sidelining a little bit, but yeah, Heather, it's fantastic that you went back and it's like a uh, graduate after so long. Because you wanted to, yeah. True, I agree. I'm doing my master's right now. It's not easy. <laughs> I think a lot of people think it's just very easy to do it, but it, it, you lose sight of it. Yeah, when you're in a scientific community, you know, grad, like, first of all, undergrad is never appreciated, but grad students, like, master's is not considered many times with grad students. So, yeah, it is quite an achievement. So. Okay, yes. Um, uh, okay, we have Nicole, Rebecca. 
Sue and Frank, would you like to also talk about your grad school experience, what you like about it and uh, what, what has been your journey? Um, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm not sure how to pronounce your name. Talani? Yeah? Okay. Sorry, uh, yes, you said it right. <laughs> cool. That's the first <laughs> time I say everything <laughs> wrong. <laughs> okay, yeah. You no, can go ahead great. and we can have everybody else can't switch on the cameras or mics, you know, picture yeah. in the chat box. Thanks for sharing, Talani. And, uh, uh, in India, actually, PharmD is actually a very popular degree, and uh, I know a lot of people who do that. So, and I really like the course you're teaching. It sounds so appropriate for the times we are living in. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. Uh, let's see, Rebecca, you were going to talk about, right? That is so cool, and I also agree. Like the traditional uh, method of learning, like there's only one way of learning, is so broken. So I love that you're exploring new ways of uh, educating and learning that's very important and basically there's like a huge divide between what we think is uh, our scientists and what are non-scientists and I think it should be a spectrum it should everybody knows science but we just have different uh, yes I, I love how um, all of us have come to grad school with very different uh, uh, paths uh, so that's absolutely wonderful. That is that is part of the diversity of experiences that we are trying to capture uh, with our project. And we have about three minutes left. So uh, Sue and uh, Anthu and Nicole, if you'd like to talk about your experience, that would be great. Um, or if you're just um, listening. Yes, yes. Sorry, I just talk really briefly about Yes. Um, so I am currently, well, first currently in the middle of experiment. I'm also uh, currently studying not just not this, but mostly on the basis of uh, the structural. Um, well, I don't think I can hear you very clearly. Um. Okay. Well, then I will probably not. I'll sit this one out. Sorry. Um. Yeah, but. Please do go on. Oh, <laughs> if you want to type in, that would be great too. Um, but since we have, uh, yeah, so I know I can't, I can't type right now. Um, I'm oh. doing an experiment. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, usually, when we do our podcast, we have like a two-hour, uh, actually three hours probably icebreaker session, so we couldn't really break into the discussions or. <laughs> things we would have really liked to explore and get to know you guys better. Uh, so if we do, uh, like Charles said in the beginning, we do podcasts on grad student experiences and we want to encapsulate all grad student experiences from sociology to science to environmental science to some every part of uh, the world. And we ask different questions each episode stuff like what motivates you in science, uh, what are your silliest mistakes in uh, do, while doing your, uh, in your grad student life, which we never talk about, mistakes, what would you tell your younger selves before joining, uh, you know, a grad school, uh, stuff like that. So we would love if you could join because one of like my uh, dreams is that, you, so we create groups and we uh, create communities after each um, episode. And we want to, you know, create a community of grad students where you can always fall back to if you have problems and, you know, issues. And the thing is, because we're strangers on the internet, there's a lot of <laughs> advice and, you know, a lot of, you can be a lot very free. And we've seen people bond, like, very differently and become friends also. And, you know, it'd be lovely if you guys could join the community and sign up for our podcast. Uh, we would have loved to get to know you all more, but yeah. <laughs> yeah Charles, do you want to add anything? Yeah, we hope we can see you in one of our longer sessions of the podcast. So please do sign up. We have a Google form link here. If you want to add your emails in the chat box so we can reach out to you later on, that would be great too. So please uh, add your emails uh, if you're okay with sharing your emails. 
Thank you so much for joining us to today. And we loved hearing your stories and we hope to see you again.